Hello, little kids. Today, I will read the story of the magical crayon. This story about the a young artist. So, without any delay, get start. Once upon a time, in a cozy little town, there lived a creative and imaginative young artist named Mia. Mia had a deep passion for drawing and spent most of her days creating colorful and vibrant artwork. Um... Her favorite spot was a small, sunny corner of her room, where she could let her imagination run wild with her trusted box of crayons. One day, as Mia was browsing through her collection of art supplies, she stumbled upon a peculiar crayon. It shimmered with an enchanting sparkle, and Mia could feel a tingling sensation as she held it in her hand. Curiosity peaked she decided to give it a try. With the magical crayon in hand, Mia began to sketch a simple flower on a blank sheet of paper. To her astonishment, as soon as she finished drawing, the flower came to life, blooming and swaying, as if caught in a gentle breeze. Mia's eyes widened with amazement and excitement. Over the next few days, Mia's room turned into a wonderland. Her drawings of animals, trees, and even fantastical creatures sprung to life with each stroke of the magical crayon. Mia played with her newfound creations, having the time of her life. But as the days went on, she began to notice something troubling. The magical creatures she had brought to life started to show signs of restlessness. Mm. The mischievous fairies pranked each other, the brave knights engaged in playful sword fights, and the friendly dragons began to fly a bit too close to her furniture. Mia realized that with the power of the crayon, she held the responsibility for the well-being of her creations. Determined to make things right, Mia spent a sleepless night thinking. The next morning, she decided to draw a group meeting of all her creations. With a stern yet compassionate tone, she addressed them, I brought you to life because I love to create and imagine, but I need your help to keep everything in balance. The creatures listened attentively, realizing that Mia cared for them and valued their existence. They all agreed to follow some rules, No causing harm, no messing up her room, and most importantly, respecting each other's space and feelings. As days turned into weeks, Mia and her magical friends learned to coexist harmoniously. Mia drew colorful picnic scenes where everyone could gather and share stories. She sketched beautiful landscapes where her creatures could roam freely without causing disruptions. And most importantly, Mia listened to their ideas and dreams, incorporating them into her artwork. One day, as Mia was drawing a breathtaking castle, surrounded by a rainbow moat, the magical crayon began to glow even brighter. Mia could sense that it was time for the crayon to move on and share its magic with someone else who needed it. With a bittersweet smile, Mia whispered a heartfelt thank you to the crayon before placing it in a special box. She knew that even though the crayon was leaving, the lessons it had taught her would remain in her heart forever. Eight years passed, and Mia continued to create beautiful art, and not with a magical crayon, but with the wisdom and creativity she had gained from her extraordinary experience. She shared her stories with others, inspiring them to embrace their imagination and creativity while remembering the importance of responsibility. And so, Mia's tale of the magical crayon became a cherished story in the town, reminding everyone that with great power comes great responsibility, and that a little bit of wonder and magic could be found in the most unexpected places.